Tour alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois, for tonight's main event. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Remember, stick Ten rounds move. slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. That's a big right hand there. He's in bad shape. He does not look good at all. He could go down at any moment, Teddy. Yeah, he wishes right now this was in an outdoor arena because maybe rain could come and stop it because I don't know what else could help him right now. Get him, get him. <laughs> How effective of a tool can the right hook be for a southpaw when he faces an orthodox fighter? Wow, what a dangerous punch for a southpaw. And the danger zone is really there for the orthodox fighter because he's not used to seeing that punch come from that angle. Halfway through this round here. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Unable to land clean by the beast from the east. That's okay. Pay him back. Guerrero's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Unable to land that shot. Final 10 seconds of round number one. And we come to the end of round number one. The Beast has got to feel good about himself after that last round. He really damaged his opponent. You got to watch the water in the corner. Come on. It's all yours, baby. But you got to keep working. Keep working, and this fight is yours. Don't. like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. Ooh. He's putting it into the rearview mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. <laughs> Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Good defense, just covering up down low. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Halfway through round number two. Guerrero's showing us a little something behind the curtain right here. He's revealing something about himself, and that is he is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. He is in a real, real bad spot right now. 
maybe a punch or two, and he could be on the deck. Oh, boy, he's got to get right to the inside, just go bear hug this guy. Either that, Joe, or maybe as big a long shot as this might be, his opponent now is coming in there not worrying about him at all. And he's leaving himself a little bit open. Maybe he can land the bomb. He can land the lucky shot. Robert Guerrero's punch is far off the target. Can you believe that? What a change in momentum. He just got rocked moments ago. He was the one hurting his opponent. Reminds you of this song, I can do anything you can do, only better. I breathe from Now listen, you threw a wide punch and he caught you. So tighten up your punches, all right? Tighten them up. Stay away from the power, okay? Keep circling away from that power. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot going. You don't need that, no. Throw that away. We start a new round here. It's hard to believe that we're even in this round based on how that last round finished. Well, if you ever watched some of those Houdini movies, you know, the great escape artist, kind of hard to believe he got out of some of those fixes he was in. You know, inside that box with chains around him underwater. He's going to have to do a Houdini right here. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Get in there! Right hand Get downstairs. <sighs> nice block by the Beast from the East. Stay away from the... Come on! Targeting that belt line with the right hand. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Good block by the Beast. Protecting his head well with his guard. The Beast showing that walking stick right now, utilizing the jab. Needs to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Oh, that's a smart fighter, because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. Keep pushing. Ten seconds to go in this third round. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. This is yours. You hear me? Escuches. This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Keep throwing punches. You look great. Just don't get crazy. Box. Look, he's beating you to the punch every single time. You need to cut the ring off and throw the jab. Guerrero's enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although, early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. To the head he goes with a left hand. Guerrero's punch didn't come He's close. Tired. He's tired, Jeff. Come on, now's your chance. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Keep moving. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. <laughs> Ninety seconds to go in round number four. He's tired. He's tired. 
And his opponent got away from that uppercut. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Gotta see that come in. Let's go. You're the beast great. is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. The Beast is rocked by that punch. He was stunned, now he's in control. Momentum so critical. And that's the thing about this boxing game. One second you're in control, the next second you're not. You need to just keep your hands up, keep your hands up. Don't worry now. I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up and keep... Dominating this fight. Keep it up. Keep doing what you're doing. Make your presence known. Assert yourself. Assert your punch. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. Now he ties up there, dismisses his opponent's headshot. Guerrero's got a little something coming back at him, a counter punch scored. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Guerrero's employing one of the three facets of good fundamental defense. And right now he's using the legs. Yeah, he is. And that is one of the facets. The other's to block, the other's to move your head. And right now he's controlling range. What his opponent has to do now is look to get into a place where maybe he can time him. Time him as he steps out. Time that left hand and score with it. Joking, good. Come on, kid, focus now. I need you to focus more. Final ten seconds of this fifth round. Guerrero's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Move your head. Side to side. More than one punch out there. More than one. We're in the fight right now, so throw some punches. You got me? We're in the fight, baby. Okay, relax. Relax. Take a deep breath. Now. Here we are, the start of another round, and if everything goes according to the way the first half of this fight went, he's going to be coasting in for an easy win. Well, if his opponent goes along with it, he definitely will, but maybe he'll change the script a little. Flip the script a bit. One, two. One, two. Good block there by the Beast. Guerrero's knowledge of the game is showing through. Wow, what a turnaround. You never know what's going to happen in this game. You're never supposed to take anything for granted, never assume anything. They tell you that in life. In the ring, you get taught that real fast. He got caught by a big shot. 
Robert Guerrero's defense is playing a prominent role in this fight, Teddy. Yes, it is, and specifically what it is is he has good fundamentals. He keeps those hands up real good, you know. They're attached, they're up around his chin, his elbows in. You know, he has a real shell there that's not easy to penetrate. Crash is home with the uppercut. The Beast's well off the mark that time. Guerrero's right hand scores well that time. And just like that, things turn around. A back and forth round. Both men have been rocked. This is what boxing's about. This is what battle is about. This is what human spirit is all about. Not able to land the headshot. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. And that's the end of round six. Guerrero's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. It's okay. It's okay. I need you to move this round, all right? Move. 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 The Beast's corner did a good job in that last round. They really got their fighter back to where he needs to be after being damaged in that last round. And that's not the only good job they did in the corner. They did a good job in the camp because obviously they have him in top shape and it's paying dividends right now. There you go. Good way to protect the midsection. Halfway through the seventh round, the Beast's offense has nearly left the building, but that has a lot to do with the fact that he was hurt earlier. He got tagged. Now he's got to find a way to be defensive, to make sure he survives, clears those cobwebs out a little bit, but he's got to reconnect the offense before it's too late. Big, big shot comes crashing home. He is down on the floor after taking that shot. And there's a lot of time left in the round. Not focusing. One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on, kill a little time. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Keep working the body. He's tired. He's got nothing left, okay? Just go for the head, knock him out. It's done. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now. I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up and keep working that jab, okay? Double up the jab and keep moving. It will be interesting to see if he finally opens up and lets his hands go here because so far tonight, as we start round number eight, it's clear on Teddy's scorecard he's just not in the fight. But it's also clear 
he should have some energy left to deliver. Well, it's also clear that it's the moment of truth. Whether you're a doctor, whether you're a lawyer, whatever the heck your profession happens to be, comes a moment of truth. What do you want to be? What do you want to do? How are you going to act at that time when it's most important? We're going to find out right now. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by the Beast from the East. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Guerrero's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Boy, some of the old school guys would really appreciate this, wouldn't they, Teddy? Just great upper body movement, so elusive up top. Yeah, this is an example like they used to say in old days. He stands right in front of you, and you can't hit him in the backside with a handful of bulk shot. Guerrero's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Very clean offense from defense by the Beast. Guerrero's left, working well that time. That hook was well off the mark. That's okay, pay him back! Seconds to go in this round. And that does it for this round. Guerrero's in control of this fight, Teddy. Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day. He's ahead on the scorecards. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard too. But right now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his P's and Q's. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in control of this fight. They start up again. Back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. Guerrero's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. That's what I like to see. Keep working the yap. Good, good. Uppercut. Come uppercut. on. Uppercut, open. uppercut, baby, come on. Scored well up top. Come on, stay away from those. Come on. Halfway through this round. Shaky, he was hurt. Clearly hurt, but holding on. He's hugging him like he just got home for Christmas. Good work. Hook to the body. Oh, that Finish got him to him. Go get him. Solid. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. Gets up after that punch, put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Fires off the hook, look at that. So the bell to end that round gets him out of danger. But Teddy, my concern is what is he even going to look like when the next round starts? Well, that's the thing. The corner's going to have to take care of that, get some ice on him. And also, they're going to have to think, do they want him to go back out?
look, you're behind on points. The only way to win this is knockout. We got Keep it. those hands moving and land a big win. Round number 10, scheduled for 10. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. The beast's got to be careful here, Teddy, because he can't stay like this. Yes, he's throwing punches, but not being effective at all. No, he's not. He's not landing. And that's bad for the scorecards, but as he continues doing this, it's going to be bad for his chin because he's going to start now getting countered. As time goes by, the more he misses, now his opponent's going to start doing the other part. He's going to come back and take advantage of those misses. And he engages in the clinch. You see how he comes over the top with that left hand. Well played shot there. Keep doing what you're doing. Another clinch. Guerrero swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Solid left hand to the head. Guerrero's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. A minute to go in the fight. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. <laughs> Last 10 seconds of the fight. Good flush shot upstairs. I can imagine throughout your career, you've been all over a lot of fighters for lack of movement. Yeah, it's very, very frustrating because you start to wonder, does he want to win the fight? That's what you start to wonder. Completely one-sided fight. At least that's the way we saw it. Yeah, I mean, if you saw it any other way, you'd have to put a warning out the next time these judges judge a fight, kind of like on a pack of cigarettes, you know, this could be hazardous to your health. I mean, these guys could be hazardous to your career if they scored any other way. Here's the official decision. Guerrero's performance tonight was exactly what he was looking for. And it's exactly what the judges reward. Good, solid effort, a unanimous decision. Yeah, if he was a pitcher, he'd be getting a shutout right now. Almost a perfect game. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.